Hello everybody, welcome to the video. It's joyful for me to make a video for you and today I wanted to talk about life coaching and career and um, calling purpose service. Um, I was on the internet today on a place called Teal Tribe Group which is a, it's a Teal Scott. Some of you have heard of her and just somebody asked like does anyone here want to be a life coach? And I just said, well, I do life coaching at the moment, so I just thought I'd make a little video to say, like, my thoughts on life coaching. And my thoughts on life coaching are that, first of all, anyone can do it. It's not for everyone. Nothing is for everyone. So, obviously, life coaching isn't for everyone, but it's for some people. So, if you're interested in doing that, and if you're interested in helping people, all you need is, I was saying, is, like, a big heart, like... That's the main thing, a pure pure heart to help people, wanting to help people, the intention to uplift and enliven and enlighten people, to help guide them on the journey just a little bit for just a tiny little part and snippet of their life. And we're all on a journey and we're all the same. We all need a bit of help and guidance or upliftment or encouragement and support from time to time, be it from our mum or our dad or our brother or sister or our our, our son or our daughter or a friend or a family member or a stranger or a workmate or our lovely like pet animal companion <laughs> I have a lovely animal companion neighbour over there see that there's a hole in the fence and it's like I rub it and it sticks its nose through <laughs> so really like you don't need be anybody special like we're all the same we're all equally special so I don't need to be anyone special overly so overly special extra special special so also we all um, specialize in different things such as some people have like certain chakras open more for example I mainly talk about like stuff connected with my heart heart chakra and throat chakra so that's your green heart chakra and then your blue communicational chakra So, I also talk about a lot of uh, inner child work, so just like letting go and having fun and play, playfulness and lightheartedness and being light, lightful and delightful, light filled in life, enlightened. Other people will be far more talking about stuff like their third eye, like lucid dreaming, astral travel, um, psychic abilities, um, energy sensitivity, like that type of thing which like there's a minority of the of the some people are like very energy sensitive and I've learned a lot about this from living with Sally who's this way but it took me quite a long time to understand this about her and she didn't even understand herself because she didn't have like the proper guidance growing up um, in a way if you know what I mean to like really teach her and to help her or else maybe she just partially wasn't fully ready to be learned fully about it so all I'd say is you can either like start coaching by going to college if you want to do that like if they teach it somewhere that resonates with you or you can just start doing it yourself like you know anyone just learn anyone can learn from everybody's different so we learn from books videos other people some people do well in like educational courses I prefer I don't really resonate with I don't I don't like educational places myself too much in the modern world at least I didn't have a good experience growing up in them and I just, I'm really like, I'm the type of personality, the, the archetype of the Vata in Indian philosophy, in Ayurvedic, and I'm, uh, <laughs> my metabolism and my energy is generally very fast moving, so I, sp I can speak quick, talk quick, listen quick, do quick, process quick, metabolize my food quick. I'm the type of person, like, I can't gain weight, even, even if I eat loads, I can eat anything I want, which some people would be, like, jealous of. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, sometimes if people, like, I have to balance myself, like, let's say, if I'm with somebody like my partner Sally, like, or anybody like, similar to that, where they have a slower energy, more like the, the, um, the, what is it in Ayurvedic, the three main types, Vata, Pitta, and Kappa, so if I'm with somebody who's more like a slow energy, and I'm rushing, like, my energy, I'm all excited, like, I can have the, uh, energy of being, like, really excited, like a little puppy, <laughs> jumping up and everything, and while some people love it, and some people love it at certain times, sometimes it can be too much or over overpowering, overbearing the energy. 
even if outwardly I'm being very pleasant and kind or friendly, it, for people like uh, my partner Sally, for example, they can be energy sensitive and they can feel like, uh, ooh, like like a, like a waterfall or like a, a, a gushing dam bursting of energy. It's like, ooh, slow down a little bit. <laughs> so the point I'm really making is we all are different and everybody has something to learn and everyone learns in an extra good from some particular people so you will find you're guided to certain people in life and you just have synchronicities to guide you to people in life also and you'll feel you'll feel drawn to in people in life so some people are drawn to me and some people aren't drawn to me and same with every single other person in life so we all have draws and non-draws to us so um with that said, um, now we're just talking about, yeah, one last thing, follow your heart. If you feel like doing it, learn more about it or reach out or ask a question. Any questions or comments below, welcome also. Um, I make these videos just to help people at this stage really, just to contribute and it's, it's uplifting and positive for me and I get something out of it also, so it's beneficial for me in my life too. Um, this is some of the services or things I provide or the links below the video. They all help me to make a living and it's it's like everything in life is a two-way it's an energy exchange there's always energy exchange there's always energy flow so it's all about the balance sometimes sometimes you might notice some people want much more than they give and some people want to give much more than they'll accept and that can be unbalanced so it's, some people will become drained and through they have to learn their own boundaries and self-preservation and self-love etc not to be overextending or giving too much when they're tired or they don't have things to give etc so life is about a balance and yeah life coaching can be very fulfilling and um, it's don't take it too seriously don't be afraid there's nothing to fear don't worry about it i'd say my 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 thing would be just go with it from a pure heart have the idea that you can't fail you just want to help people even a little bit if you uplift or help somebody a little bit then that's a good thing i've i've haven't really to my knowledge i haven't had any like clients who haven't really who've disliked it or anything Usually, actually, I kind of sometimes I, I often end up becoming friends with my clients. Like, <laughs> like some of them, like close enough friends, like long friends. And part of the reason is because they really, really appreciate me, and they appreciate me enough to actually spend money on themselves and give me money, which is a form of energy and love and kindness to give that. And because they appreciate me and I appreciate them, there's an equal bridge to form to forge and to form a friendship, a close connection. So it's always very rewarding helping people. But the thing is, like regarding any job, if you just do it with the right intention and that's to help people and to care for them and love them and enhance and enrich their life, be it like if you're a plumber or like a carpenter or building a wall or like doing the garden or planting trees or just anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Anything at all can be made into a purposeful and meaningful activity and to enrich and enhance and then you can gain fulfillment and satisfaction in life and your job can be wonderful like much nicer so i'll make a i'll make another video just to share my own little thoughts and ideas and my insights and realizations about um jobs and career and service in another video but you know there is overlapping themes so i hope this video has helped and if you if you need any other like um little information or if you have any questions or comments or if you feel like sharing any love or a nice kind energy below the video, that's nice. And if you don't, that's okay. You can do it silently from a distance because lots of people actually watch my videos and they never comment, which is fine too. And sometimes they might comment like a year or two later and say, I'm watching your videos, but I'm just quiet. <laughs> so that's okay too, you know? So it's all good. Everyone's different. So until the next time, um, thanks for sharing your energy with me and hope you like my intro and ending of the videos these days. I liked it myself. And let me do, let me know what you think of my beginning and ending. You know, some people will like them, some people probably think they're too long or whatever else. But at the end of my videos, I always also like add in two suggested videos these days or three. I've switched it to two, where you can see maybe related videos or videos that sprang to mind or it's just that I videos that I like of myself that I made and um, links to them at the end of the video. So I love those touching music and everything else. So I'll see you again and thanks for watching. I'll catch you again in another video. Okay, take care. Until next time, stay healthy. Keep 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 track of your health. Care of your health and your inner men mental and emotional state. And uh, have a good day. Okay. Respect to you and your journey and to the birds. Tweet tweet.
SAYA